What's going on you guys? So since I played Grand Tacticians 1861 to 1865 and this is kind of like so many Civil War titles coming out, I decided to give Lock and Load, the Victory and Glory, the American Civil War a go. I wanted to kind of like, well, play both games and then kind of, well, <laughs> kind of compare them a little bit. So, this is interesting, okay. I really like the art in this. All right, so I can choose 1861, border state scenario. All right, let's choose Union. Yeah, it really has some nice art. Okay, long feared specter of civil war has finally come to pass. 11 southern states have voted to secede from the Union. The border states of Missouri, Kentucky, and Maryland hang in a balance along with hope of restoring the Union. Ooh. Great Britain and France are looking for reasons to recognize Confederacy to independence, but they will be cautious. It's up to you to pr uh, to prevent the kind of sudden victories that could alter their neutrality. Ooh, okay, level of difficulty. Players receive a moderate advantage over their opponents. Right, I guess we'll just do middle, right? All right, so. See what this game is all about. I looked at the Steam screenshots of it and it looked really good. Okay. British with arrived. This could maybe played if the Confederacy had at least one port entirely from. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow. Well. I was, you know, I'm really excited about Lock and Load because they are bringing some incredible board games to the digital platform, and it's really, really motivating, you know. There's some, like, games, especially some war games, that I would love to see ported to the digital platform. Okay. So I'm assuming that army is moving. Oh wow, look how big that army is. Alright, so now it's my turn. May 1861. Though... How do I move around the map? All right, so I just hit the corners. WASD keys do not work. How about the arrow keys? Arrow keys work, okay. I would really love to see WASD keys mapped. I That for me is like a huge thing. I do like the map. The map is very, very nice. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like a really nice printed board map now on the <laughs> computer. Really like it. Really nice. Even has like the scratches and such. All right. All right. So let's see what this game is all about. So each, I'm assuming these are all brigades. Right click, our combat rating. It's interesting. So all my units have a combat rating of zero. They have some with one. And it's 1861 May, right? So let me see my event cards. Uh, interesting. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Union player receives two free. Ooh, I like that. 
the active army may move two regions provided that the first region okay interesting all right cool i'm gonna have to take a look at some of these and how many i can play them this is the navy i have two river Available River cities controlled by the Union to next Confederate stronghold Memphis. So, oh, okay. So I didn't even go down this far. All right. So it's weird. I noticed when I use the up and down keys, there's like a little bit of a lag. I don't know why. But if I hit, like when I do this, this is fine. But if I use yeah, there is a lag if I use the up and down keys. Like hiccups, I don't know why. That's weird. Alright, game summary. Nice. Okay, cool. And then main menu. Cool. Alright, let's see how to move a force. So I'm assuming this is an army here, commanded by Lion. Command rating of 4, okay. Buell. That's rating of 4. And then who's in charge here, McDowell? Ugh. Banks. Banks should have three. McClellan, four. Okay. I could just look at the card instead of clicking on it. So I don't have good generals. Can I click on this? Oh, look at his Stewart's eight. Beauregard, six, five. Oh, okay. So we're not in a position to um, <laughs> do much. They're in a very good position to south here. I wonder what activations remaining mean. Rally points remaining, okay. Ooh, Grant, look at this nine. All right, so now how do I move a unit? Do I select it and then what would I like to send it to? They have Memphis, right? I would like to take Tennessee, though. So I'm going to send an army out here. Oop, that's not how you do it. How about if I click and drag? Nope. Uh, let's see. How would you move this? Oh, okay. So that's, if I right click it, it's going to allow me to split force. That's cool. I like that. But how do I move them? Well, that's interesting. You can move this in a card stack like this. Now, if I leave it, will it go be at the same? Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's interesting. I like it. Yeah, this is nice. And I got five units here, too, and he's on the Buell. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is how to move a unit I'm trying to click and drag it no that's not working uh, how about left clicking at the area okay so it's right click and then another right click beautiful okay Ah, okay, so I only have uh, a certain amount of rail points. I like the music in the background, too. It's nice. I think it's perfect for this game. It's subtle, yet kind of like adds a little tension. A little apprehension of something bad that's going to come. Alright, let's... Thanks for telling me that. I appreciate that. Uh, let's move. Can I move into this province? No. How about we'll go to DC? Oh, that's right. I ran out of rail. Okay. Let's see if there's any union. Now, the only thing is, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out where I can uh, see my, uh, there it is, rail points remaining, okay. And then it is four activations. So I'm assuming activations means movement of armies. Okay, cool. Nice. Can't move any further, right? No. Okay. I don't know why I can't move. So I know some... I don't know if there's a... I gotta check to see if there was a tutorial. But, uh, you know, just in case, I know some people go into comments like, dude, you gotta play the tutorial. I just always give this a heads up. I don't like playing tutorials. I feel like a game should be intuitive enough that you don't have to play the tutorial. Like, you could just dive right into it. Uh, that is a big piece for me, right? It's kind of like throwing a smartphone in somebody's hand that never held a smartphone. If you have to go through like a long manual, you're doing it wrong. Like imagine the first, remember the first smartphones, right? Like the Blackberry and the uh, WebOS and all those, they required a lot, a big learning curve. But then, you know, iPhone and Android came and they were much more easier, much more intuitive to play around with, much more easier to gain. Uh, so much so that people that never held Good example is my, uh, my mom, right? She never hates computers, never liked touching them, barely understood, you know, that Windows, you know, of anything, right? Uh, was able to get her hands on the iPad and literally just start using it. And now she's on Facebook and my family hates me because of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to stay right here for this guy. Uh, I'm going to play some event cards. I don't know how many I have and I don't know which ones I can do. Uh, but... I'm going to do that one. I wonder what the S means on the top. I'm going to give New York. So I'm from New York. So I'm going to give my guys. Oh, okay. So that's what RR means. Repeating rifle. I wonder what S means. All right, so I was able to play that one. I want to see if that affects my activation. It does not. So I wonder if I could play all these cards like right now. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Do I just oh, okay? Cool. So they're already good up there now. Cool. All right, and then yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Beautiful. All right, so nice. Okay, cool. I like that. All right, nice. All right, let's just click uh, end turn and just see what happens here. All right, a new general emerges, a union player gains a random general. No, let's do this. Okay, nice, okay, production limits. How much money do I got? Nice, okay. So I got two units purchased. Okay, cool, thank you. See, I like stuff like that. You know, instead of a tutorial, those pop-ups are awesome. See? That's how you should. Instead of a tutorial, I would love to do every developer to actually do something like this. This is this is so much uh, easier, and I definitely need a railroad cap. Okay, cool. Let's click accept. I don't want to spend all my money, you know. 
It's like when you get a paycheck, you don't want to spend it all. You got to kind of divvy it up. All right. Interesting. The uh, tactical battle uh, screenshot that I saw was interesting. So I'm looking forward to a clash. Okay. I would have chose the same thing, and I did. He's developing a big army in Chattanooga there. I don't know what he's up to. Seven now. Oh, Johnston. Oh, and the one... Oh, wow, he's an eight. Look at that. Jeez, man. He'll snap. One of my armies in half. Now, I'm kind of curious to see how the OOB works, the order of battle, right? So if you have two generals in there, right, they both have combat rating. I'm assuming that gets calculated into the battle, right? So, Mike, I'm curious. So, like, right here, the Union Army in D.C. Uh, in DC. Is it my turn yet? Yeah, it is. So there's a Union Army in D.C. here, right? I only have McDowell there, so, and he's at three. Jeez. I definitely need to get another general. Let me see the cards. Okay. So I'm going to click on this card. I'm not going to use all the cards here. Right there. Alright, so I got Pleasanton. So he was the cat. I believe he's a cavalry. I believe he ran the cavalry, right? In uh, Battle of Gettysburg? Lions of four. Let me check. take a look at this army down here. So it's just Johnston. All right. I can know all the commanders, right? Nice. Okay. I'm tempted to move Grant by rail over here. Just Grant, though. And then move the troops under their command. So learning curve is actually pretty good. It's pretty intuitive. You know, I'm, a, I'm able to pick up this game, I mean, literally in a couple of minutes. So it's good. I like it. It works. Uh, go to DC, my friend. And then I need you to link up with his army. Can I do that? Oh, it's probably full that army, that's why. How big is this force? He's maxed out. I need more generals, that's what I need. So rail points remaining six. But seeming that I have all these units, I wouldn't be able to move them right now. If I leave what, one, two, three, four, five, six, if I take two out, that might work. I wonder what the difference is between these units, right? So you see this guy right here, he doesn't have a pack on. So I wonder if that affects combat, what kind of bonuses these guys have. Or if it's just to differentiate them. Uh... Let me right click. I move two units out. There we go. 
Nice. That's exactly what I wanted it though. All right. I think I played all my event cards that I want. I'm gonna leave that alone. Navy, I'm just gonna leave you as is. I got one rep point remaining. Hopefully that carries on to the next. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna go after Memphis just yet. All right, so that's my fleet. That's my fleet. You know, in the Civil War, I always forget about the uh, Navy. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do, always do. It's like secondary, uh, what do you call it? Ah, bloody. All right, so that, I screwed up there. So now I know how they move. Uh, I definitely want to order a couple more forces in terms of the Navy, so I'm going to definitely do that. So, what is this? All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's good, that's good. All right, rock and roll. Oh, crap. I got a WD-40 of this chair. <laughs> oh. Increasing, huh? See me building up my guys there, huh? Alright, so the AI is uh, competent. It knows. Smart enough to say, alright, look, let me uh, move some units here to countermand his three armies over there. Okay, I gotta put somebody there, ship wise. Memphis. So I'm, my goal here is Nashville and Chattanooga. Alright. Because now he, oh, he has nine still there. Alright. Maybe I'll send one army to ten. Now I'm going to need to focus on one. I can't focus on two. I really should go for Chattanooga. But then I'm leaving my right flank open if I go this way. Because then he can come here, or he can go north. St. Louis. Maybe I'll put a couple of soldiers into this army. Move this army here. Move those soldiers down to prevent him from... Or maybe keep him somewhere around here to face this army while this huge army smashes into that guy. That's what I'm thinking. All right, I got 16, he got 19. There we go, all right, 10. Now I got 26 against his 19. Still not gonna attack though. Oh, okay, so you can still combine more. Because I see the Confederates are combined in. Are you, are you in DC? Okay, nice. Ah. Okay, cool. So it exceeds. It's too much. Alright. And then these guys. Uh, let's first hit Nashville. And then I'm gonna send you guys by rail. Actually, you know what? Once I get to Chattanooga, Nashville, I mean, I'll bring those guys down. What? Uh, I hate getting. Uh, text messages and uh, emails from my boss when I'm off. <laughs> All right, I got units here. All right. 
So I'm definitely gonna send these guys. I got enough rail points. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, you know what? Do me a favor, hang tight. I'm actually gonna send them. We'll all get together at Nashville. That's what we're gonna do. Event cards. I got none left. I mean, that I want to use. How do I buy stuff? I remember that popped up. I don't know if it's every turn. It didn't happen the last one. So I'm kind of curious. It doesn't pop up all the time. All right. All right, since they moved, it's not going to let me. All right, let us. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move you, more units into Grant's army, since he's better. <laughs> All right. So my plan is to build up this force. Right, I got like now what. 26 I think I said right he has 19 but by me building up forces here right like it's keeping 19 of his troops there weakening everywhere else number wise I should overtake him by moving forces into here I'll move two of those guys and then New York guys are gonna move here we'll get together and then we'll smash into Chattanooga and then if he decides to send his rail guys down here and reinforce I'll just come at him there. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I need to build ships, man. All right. All right, let us do another one. Ooh. Ooh. I, I need more generals though Jeez, these fort levels are increasing constantly Ooh, whoa You see that, how that popped up? That's interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Well, I got repeating rifles, so... Do your best. Shoot, now he has 12. Oh, a lot more than 12 now. 15. Bloody. 17. 15. Oh, and he's moving his army. Jeez. Great. Okay. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Okay. Uh, the army is commanded by Johnston, contains 11 infantry, 3 are, you must prepare your defending forces. I'm going to attempt to retreat. Ah, no. And we're going to go to the tactical mode now. I didn't expect I'm going to do that. Uh, I wonder what this, ooh. Nice, okay, what is this? So battle options. Okay, so you can automate. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do full command. Battle card. Uh, wait, let me just check something. What do you have? You have one artillery and the rest infantry. All right. Let me get one another artillery. Uh, any cavalry, and then this guy, this guy, a 
Can I move more? Nah, it's not gonna let me. Uh, that's okay. Okay, cool. I feel like I should move some other general in here too. Can I move it? Is it gonna? Okay, cool. Nice. All right. So I'm kind of curious. If I do, ah, uh, that's how that works. All right, cool. The commanding, oh, okay. Alright, so he's going to serve as Corps Commander. Okay. It's pretty easy. Again, intuitive. Let me see. Can I just... Ah, okay, so I can do all of them there. I thought I can only do those spots. Can I do more? Okay, cool. All right, thank you. You know what? I have two cannons. Should I put three? Nah, I'll just leave it like that. All right, select the unit to order. All right. Uh, let us focus on Virginians. Nice. All right, eventually we'll get a chance to select one of the units to launch an attack. There's no guarantee all units will attack during a round of combat. However, if a unit is routed or destroyed before it gets a chance, that is the fortunes of war. All right, he's hitting my artillery. Ooh, eliminated units. Uh, that's not good. All right. Uh, ah, so if I hover over this, it's going to give me a heads up. Weak attack. attack I wonder it says loyal to you know you notice when you right click it says loyal to I wonder if a unit will actually change sides all right it says weak attack but let's take out the artillery ay 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 Attacking and we destroyed your unit. Jeez, man. Oh, jeez. Definitely not good. Definitely, definitely not good. Okay. After each uh, attempt, we'll temporarily lower your commander's rating by two points for every next round of battle. So we'll reduce his efficiency in directing the battle. All right. This is not good. <laughs> uh, my boss is contacting me again. Jeez. I can't put McClellan, right? Jeez, man. Eliminated, too. It says weak attack plus one. Oh, no. All right, let's hit the center of that line. I wonder if that means anything. Center. All right, good. I got one unit out. Jeez. 
Why can't you guys hold, man? So these lines mean it's disrupted. Hit the Georgians. Ah! Uh, can I retreat? <laughs> it's been a massacre. Yeah, I know. Can I get the heck out of Dodge? Uh, retreat. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I'm assuming... Jeez. All right, Union casualties have been horrendous. Small but deadly defeat. This is not a small. It has been completely destroyed. So how does this... Our army suffered a small but deadly defeat. This is not a small. This is a large defeat. It has been completely destroyed. All right, let's see what this does to the grand campaign here. Interesting. <laughs> it didn't work out too well. <laughs> didn't work out too well indeed. So the invasion of the south is to be postponed. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'll head back to Louisville. And then I'll get my New Yorkers. Come on. So that should bring us up to 10 to face his 14. And then these guys. So 12 to his, again, 14. So I'm not good in that arena there. I think there's only a certain time that you can actually uh, order units. But yeah, man, this is not good. Definitely not good. Maybe I should send some forces. I have four rail points remaining, so I'll send this guy. Oh, that's right. Let me right click. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, so what is this now? This is three, six, nine, 11 plus 5, we're looking at 16 now. So we're, this, hopefully nothing happens, we should be good. So initial impressions, my first impressions of this game is very positive. I like it. Uh, a couple of things, I really like the map. It's very uh, well drew, drawn. Okay, you know what I need. Uh, I'm going to build... I know. I'm gonna build one more ship. Two warships. Yeah. And then two, three. I know. And then this. I need a lot more troops. Okay, good. Two warships added, beautiful. Still getting past my blockades. I feel like if I put more ships in that area, maybe that'll be able to... Okay. You know, the one thing that drives me nuts is I just got a call and <laughs> it always pops up with like 347, which is a New York uh, cell phone number. And then, you know, this this one right here, which is my local area code uh, and 
every time I pick it up, it's always like a telemarketer or a recorded message. And I'm like, geez, man. I miss the days when it was 1-800 number. You can be like, oh, it's, it's just telemarketer. But now these people are getting so sophisticated that they're like, we're going to use local numbers. Mm, it's not good, man. Every time I pick up and they're like, hello? They're like, congratulations, you've won a trip to Disney World. I'm like, what? Uh, okay, this one might be something because uh, there was actually a voicemail on that one. It's not Disney World, but they would, they would be like, improve your credit score or something like that. All right, so I got two commanders there. I'm probably going to add another one. Somebody that's good. Okay, good. I move lion out or something. I don't know. Who do I have here? Let me move. I'm not gonna move Grant, dude. I'm not moving Grant. Grant's the only good one, though. Ah, bloody. Oh crap. Uh, right click, right click. Uh, I'll move the Rhode Islanders out. I'd rather have Grant in there. Oh crap. Why can't I? I just move somebody out. I guess next turn I'll move, remove Buell. Maybe send him east or something because he's. Not good. All right, so I got 12 units. Oh, wait. Did that just... Oh, yeah, move the whole bloody army. Jeez, man. All right, whatever. I just didn't... I was supposed to remove Grant, not just... Ah, uh... yeah, whatever. Mistakes made. Uh, uh, one rail point available, two rail points are required to complete your move. Uh, interesting. So, how about I do this? I'll just grab one. Do one by rail and one by sea. And naval transport. Alright. Nice. 14 now. Alright, and I got some new ships here. Top of the line. And guess where I'm going to put them? Right at Charleston, because they all piss in me off. I'll move that room. I gotta split it. I gotta split it. I gotta keep remembering that. I always just think that because I, I select one unit. That should stop the bloody people from doing that. And you guys will come down soon. Now with 27 here, I completely outnumber him. I'll just maybe increase this guy as two commanders. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it off here as my first impression. So what do I think of it? One pro is it's it's really nice map. It's really uh, illustrated well. I really like it. Uh, other things, the learning curve is quick, it's simple, it's easy. Uh, this is a game that I feel like if you do not want to do a long campaign, like comparing it to Grand Tacticians 1861 to 1865 uh, game, right? That one, I started a campaign 1862, and that game I go, uh, I believe goes by hour, right? So for me to go from 1862 to 1865, we're looking at... <laughs> A lot of gameplay we're looking at probably dozens of hours this game I feel like if you have maybe like two days off right and you're like I want to play a game from start to finish 
uh, but I don't have the weeks that I guarantee to actually continue playing the game because I got a, I don't know, something important next week, a meeting, and so I only got two days to really play and I really want to do a Civil War game. This is it. Uh, a good example is uh, I use the strategic command and the Hearts of Iron analogy. So if you want to play uh, a st strategic World War II game, but you don't want to have like dozens of hours committed like in Hearts of Iron would need, right? You could play strategic command. This is kind of like comparing this to Grand Tactician. So Grand Tacticians is the equivalent of Hearts of Iron where you would need dozens of hours to commit. And then with this game, for a strategic game, you can play it off in two days, even maybe one day. So I, I really like this. If I want to get my uh, Civil War on, but I don't want to commit for a massive long campaign, uh, this would be the game. You know, so I like this. Uh, I'm going to have to move units into one big army, I think. And I'll have the reserves behind it. That's what I'll do. So I'll right click that. Okay. Now, if I do this, does that mean this guy is going to be the commander? Like Lion? I wonder how that works. Or is it just a unit that has the highest uh, command rating? Uh, other things that I like about this game, uh, the tactical combat is very, uh, it, again, that one also has a quick learning curve. It's simple. You can go through a whole battle and, like, as you guys saw, like five minutes. Uh, so that is really good. I like that. In a tactical battle in Grand Tactician, you need like an hour or two. Literally, I started a game, I think, in like 10, 15 uh, p.m. And I was planning to get it done by like 11.30. No, it was like after 12 midnight. So you're going to have to devote some time. You know, I think it's about each one is like 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast you move the Grand Tactician's tactical battle. This one, again, 5, 10 minutes. So I like that. So uh, this one's $20, I believe. And Grand Tactician's is 40 So it's... These are perfectly priced, the way I feel it. Uh, I'm going to actually continue playing this more and hopefully give a final review for, of this game. But uh, yeah, this this game is really good. I like it. Uh, I really like the art style. It's simple enough. Like, I was able to, you know, like something like this, right? They keep, these guys keep getting through my blockade, so I'm going to add two ships and maybe three ships, and eventually they won't be able to get through my blockade. Uh, the buying uh, system is easy. The event cards are easy to do. So even for a board game, like if this was an actual board game, I can literally just dive right into it. Normally with like a board game, uh, I usually play that one with my buddy Bob. I, I need like, he needs to explain it for like 20, 30 minutes. A good example is like, um, what is it, World at War? No. World in Flames, something like that. I needed like 45 minutes to an hour of explaining because World in Flames is so in-depth. Uh, but this game, yeah, you don't need, re even really need to explain it. Maybe even five, 10 minutes and that's it, you're in. So uh, this is a really good port. I really like it. Uh, I will really wish the uh, developer, I don't know what engine you're using. Hopefully it's uh, an engine that you can easily port to uh, other OSs like uh, Mac, Linux, uh, you know, uh, iOS, Android kind of thing. So you can play it on the go or on different OSs. So uh, overall, guys, I'm, I really like this. There are tutorials here. You can save a game. Cool. Nice. Did it save it for me? I'm assuming it. that's the uh, save game. All right. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, catch you in the next one.